welcome back to my channel. Um, hopefully the lighting is okay. It's The sun is starting to go down. It's about 8.30 on Tuesday and I just wanted to jump on my phone and quickly film a check-in for you guys because I was looking over my schedule for the next couple weeks and it is going to be really hard for me to film. Um, I might be able to film like normal. Who knows when I can be fitted in, but um, it's... I normally film on the weekends and it's not looking good until about mid-September. So this past weekend I didn't film because my parents were visiting me with my dog. Next weekend I'm going on a road trip with my roommate. As soon as I get back I'm actually moving. Um, my new lease doesn't start until August 30th, but um, I have to be out of the place I am now basically on Friday. So as soon as I get back from the road trip on Sunday, I've got to take all my stuff, um, crashing with a friend for a week, and then the weekend after that, I will be here, but I have to move into my new place. And the weekend after that, I have a wedding out of town, and that's Labor Day weekend, so that brings us already to the second week of September. So that is just kind of what's going on with me. Um... I wanted to just come on here and let you guys know that if you don't see a lot of me in the next month, I didn't decide to quit project painting or painting my palette or being on a no-buy or any of that kind of stuff. I'm still totally dedicated, if not like more dedicated than ever to all of that kind of stuff. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to film. So I also wanted to jump on and kind of like re-announce my life update. Um, I initially had a life update in like April or May in my Q&A video. I'll try to remember to link that down below. I know not everyone likes to watch the more personal videos and stuff. I don't always want to watch those when I'm on YouTube. Sometimes I'm just in the mood to watch makeup videos and I totally get that. So I thought at the end of this video I would just kind of re-go over what's been going on with me and what's going to be going on with me in the next several months because I've gotten a lot of subscribers since I posted that video and I know not everyone watched it and sometimes I mention aspects of what's going on in passing in my videos and I've gotten a bunch of questions about it in the comments. So I thought I would just go over it again for anyone that's interested and then um, hopefully clear some questions I know some people have up. So basically I'm studying to be a dietitian. I got my master's degree and I part of becoming a dietitian is doing an internship. So for the past couple years I've been working towards applying to internships for this year. So I applied I believe in January or February. I don't remember when the application was due. And then I found out in April um, the way it works is you're just matched with one of the places you apply or, you know, unfortunately not matched with any place. Um, you don't have a choice. So I applied to five internships and I didn't know if I would be going anywhere and if where, where I'd be going until April. So meanwhile, last fall, my husband got the opportunity to, um, move abroad for six months for work starting in April. So the week after I found out where I was accepted, um, I was accepted to my first choice, luckily. Um, he, a week after that, and we found out where I'd be going, he moved to Scotland. And so, um, that was kind of crazy. And then luckily I was able to spend almost a month with him, just a few days short of a month with him in Scotland in June and then I moved to a new city in July for my internship when unfortunately you know it was my top choice but it also started way earlier than any of the other ones that I applied to so I didn't quite get to spend as much time as I wanted to in Scotland but I'm still really thankful I was able to spend um, almost four full weeks there but um yeah so I moved here July 1st I started my internship and my internship um, I'm basically rotating to a bunch of different sites to get a lot of different experience in different areas. So every two to four weeks I'm at a new place. Um, I think there are even a few that are just one week. So I kind of talk about that in my weekly makeup basket. It really depends where I am. It kind of really influences what makeup I'm going to be wearing for the week. So I think that my weekly makeup baskets for the next few months will at least be a little more interesting. Um, so far I've been at a long-term care facility, I was at a farm, and now I'm in a community organization, and then I'll be back to a more clinical setting, um, the week after this week. So if I talk about, you know, changing rotations or jobs, that's what I'm talking about. And I mean, that also kind of makes it hard to get in a schedule and get like settled because every two to four weeks my 
um, schedule changes. Sometimes I have to start at 7.30. Sometimes I start at 9. It's really all over the place. Um, so it's kind of been hard to get into a good routine here. But that is what's going on with me. Um, so I've been here since July. My husband gets back in October, but he'll be staying um, in Minnesota where he has a job. And I'm going back to Minnesota for Thanksgiving. I'll be there through Christmas um, doing a rotation there. So I'll still be doing my internship, just I'll be doing it in Minnesota. And then I'll be coming back to where I am now um, for January through March. My internship ends in March and then I do have to sit for an exam I don't know if I'm going to go straight to Minnesota and study there and take the exam there. If I'm going to stay here, maybe take the opportunity to study with some of my other interns that are in the same program as me here and take the exam here. Um, I do have a lease here until the end of April, so I don't really know when I'll be going back. But um, I'm not even thinking about that because it's so far in the future. So I just wanted to kind of let anyone who's new to my channel know what's going on and kind of explain some things I might just really briefly mention in some of my videos. Um, when I also want to kind of touch on the fact that when I moved here, I really didn't bring a lot of stuff with me. Um, before I moved, I did a huge decluttering process. I did read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, which is like everybody has read it now. I think um, so many people I talked to have been reading that book, but I went through the whole process she outlined in that book and I really got into the whole decluttering, living a more minimalist lifestyle. And the timing on that couldn't have been better for moving. So I really brought the bare minimum with me, including my makeup. And I'm kind of using this as a chance to kind of experiment with what it's like to have a more small makeup collection. Um, so I didn't bring a lot with me. So if I mention, you know, I don't have this with me, it's at home, and you're wondering why I'm not at home, or where I am, or what I'm talking about, that is what I meant. So I brought a very small percentage of what I have in my makeup collection here with me. Um, I'm trying to use up as much as I can, and then when I go back for Thanksgiving, I'm going to swap out some of the more summery things I brought with me for some fall things, and kind of mix up what I have with me, and kind of get more comfortable with having less makeup in general, and just in the past few weeks, I've just been even more motivated to declutter more, so I'm probably going to do a lot of that when I get home in November and December. But that's kind of beyond the point. I don't know why I started talking about that now in this video. But I wanted to let you guys know what is going on with me. So it's starting to get kind of dark. I don't, it doesn't really look like it in the camera. But um, I am in the parking lot of the grocery store. And I need to run in and get something so I can go home and hopefully edit. Um, I did film two videos today. I just don't know how much I'll be able to edit before I go to bed. Um... And when I'll have a chance to edit them again, because like I said, I'm pretty busy over the next few weeks. So I'm going to hurry up and go do that and stop blabbering. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what's going on with you in the comments, if you have anything crazy going on. And hopefully I will see you soon, but if I don't, just know I'm still around. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will be uploading or updating Instagram probably more frequently than YouTube over the next month. Um, I will put my handle down below, but it's peachy with a side of keen. So hopefully I'll see you on there and hopefully here too, just maybe not quite as many videos as I'm used to posting. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!